When you do a clay project wrong, you end up with brittle, broken belter bones. It's time for Aaron Does It Wrong in support of Casey Hudson and worldworkings.com. As you can see from the age requirement on this box, the dinosaurs will not be helping us. So you need to find all of your bone colored clay and separate them out where you can actually start to make your first bones. As you can see, this is the first finger bone. Shape it into a finger shape. And then make your little weird curvy finger bones. And finally, your finger finger bones. That's my finger. Once you get them all baked, drill holes into the back of them where you can insert small pieces of wire. And continue drilling holes for all of these. Any of you who do clay know that this will not work. When you get all four of your fingers connected, you can start working on your wrist bone. I'm not gonna make an each individual bone, but I can at least shape them into the clay using carving tools. And finally, make the claws, which will attach to the end of the fingers. And you can see they can either extend or retract, just like a cat. When I drill my holes into the wrist bone so I can attach everything else incorrectly and into the claw, you can see my four wrist bones. And you can see that it just didn't work. This is not the right way to do this. But it looks really cool. When the dinosaurs and I form a metal band, we're going to make a clay model like this. We're going to use it for cover art for our first album cover. The base worked though. Drill a small hole into a little dowel and another small hole into a little cup. Secure it through with a screw. Detach everything together and another small hole to attach the arm to the base. And here you can see just how really cool and metal this looks. I wish it had lasted. Unfortunately, as I rapid cover this with more clay, the clay that I attached was far too heavy for this structure and it fell apart. And here's Jazz for no particular reason, except that everybody should enjoy looking at Jazz. She's the best cat in the world. So we're gonna start with some plant steaks. Peel the plastic off because we are gonna stick this into the oven. And then we can start to shape our wrist. I want this to be slightly smaller than my wrist because a pentaparte is slightly smaller than your average Aaron. Once you get your wrist size together, you can size out approximately how big your fingers are going to be and bend the wire into the correct shape. Once you get all four of them together, measure your wrist against your wrist and you can attach the bones where they're supposed to be. And this is the weird curved finger bones that apparently cats have. Shape it together with your clay knife so that it looks nice and bone-like. And then remove your finger marks. Now I'm gonna do my second finger bone. This is the finger bone that I was pointing to the first time against my own finger bone. And I need to get this shaped in as well. And then I can finally attach another claw to that. Once I get it baked as a test bake, I can see that it does work and this will stay together. Wrap it all in tin foil and do a lot of boring covering with clay. This is the little pad that all cats have on the bottom of their feet. And I probably did this wrong, but get that shaped in and blend it. And then I'm going to put more aluminum foil down so that the pads can be attached. I think I want three of these. And then we're gonna make fur. We're gonna use yarn. And one of the problems with doing everything that I do with just waste material is that I'm kind of stuck with the colors I have. So this is like scrap yarn, but it's not what I wanted. And I painted this for some reason, I don't know why. But this part is important to be painted. The little pads that cats walk on, they do need to be black. And of course, the, ex uh, the exposed skeletal part needs to be painted white with a little bit of a wash on it. And then you can start putting the yarn on. I advise watching this part with your favorite cat. 
because they will love this. All the action and the movement as we attach the yarn to this. Oh, and this part, you can see that I am attaching the rosette that all leopards have. And I did want to try to give this species markings like a leopard. And I just kind of let this part play on because honestly, it's mesmerizing. Give it its first haircut. As I said, watch it with your favorite cat. It keeps continues to get more haircuts as more yarn is added. We can paint the base black, and then I can show you my pen to party hand. And you can see that it just kind of looks like a cat paw, but that the fingers would extend, and those are movable fingers. Thank you for watching, and please support Casey Hudson at worldworkings.com.